In 1892, in a tiny factory in South Australia, Mr. W. E. Hay formed the South Australian Brush Company with just three employees and very limited production facilities. In his factory, he made brushes and brooms, and week by week, the product range began to grow. Over the next century, the company blossomed to become the best-known manufacturer of cleaning products in Australia and a household favourite. 2012 marks Sabco's 120th anniversary as an Australian institution. This year, Jan celebrates more than 30 years with the company. Sabco, you say Sabco and people say, well, quality. I'm going to go buy that because I know I'm getting good quality. Sabco's been around for years. To me, you've got to love what you're doing to be able to keep doing that. When you've got that much passion, it's got to be good at the end, doesn't it? Because you're putting everything into it. Donald Hay is the grandson of the company's founder, William Hay. Donald worked at Sabco for many years and is a font of knowledge on the company's history. I was a small boy going to the factory with my father on a Saturday and love playing around there making a nuisance of myself with my two brothers and I always dreamed of working for the brush company and at school I was known as DB which was Donny Brush and more um, derogatory was it was Dunny Brush. He said, oh, Graham Kennedy said there's a great new product Bert come over here Bert and he said this is a carpet sweep he was sitting down and it cleans the carpet um, and they were talking about it. He said, oh, really? It cleans the carpet, does it? And then he said, oh, there's a, a guy from the, the son of the owner of Sabco is here, the manager. Come, come over here, Donald Hay, introduce me to him. And he said, now, here, you showed me yesterday how this thing works. And he said, um, oh, I'll put some confetti on the floor. And he said, you, you, you use it. And he handed it to me. He said, you, you sweep the floor and show me how it cleans up, how it cleans the floor. So I pushed the carpet sweep up over the confetti and to my absolute amazement, nothing happened. Blank. All the confetti was still there. I pulled it back a couple and I thought, what in the heck has happened? And I was stunned silence. Graham Kendi pulled the brush out of his pocket and said, oh, maybe you better put this in. <laughs> and of course, all the audience laughed like man, and I feverishly put it in. And he said, now, sh show, me the, show me that it works. Of course, it worked beautifully. You know, it was just impregnated into us all that we had to make the best product we could. Herman Verhofstadt is the company's CEO. He was born in Belgium and migrated to Australia, where he was given the opportunity to create his own Sabco story, setting up the company for another 120 years. Yeah, three years ago, I got a phone call. I was working in Germany. Somebody asked me if I was interested to work in Australia. And Australia is not a bad place to work, so I thought, you know what, let's have a look. And yeah, three years later I'm sitting here uh, running this company and I have to say uh, it's been a great experience. We get a lot of ideas and these ideas go into our team of engineers who then come up with great new products that um, we see today in the marketplace. One of them is this spray mop and um, that product we fully, fully built in our uh, own uh, factory. It's absolutely a top quality product designed for the Australian market and that's one of the biggest successes we have for the moment out there. The story that is around this all Australian company is just sensational and that goes into the products. Um, and even the young generation that works here together with me today trying to understand what Australians want to clean their homes and to translate that into products that we make in our factories is just sensational. Consumers when they buy a mop or a broom or a cleaning product it needs to work, it really needs to deliver and it needs to make your, your work easier. In case that um, the product will not uh, deliver and would fail, if a consumer calls us we always replace. We, we, will, we won't have anybody unhappy. And I believe it needs to last, it needs to be really built with quality, with passion, with um, um, a belief that every product that comes out of our production 
needs to be perfect. Happy birthday, Sabco. Sabco, a happy 120th. Happy birthday, Sabco. 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 Sabco, Australia's favourite cleaning brand, 120 and counting. Happy birthday, Sabco.